What's up everyone, my name is Sahil, and I just finished all three stages of Amazon's online assessment program for incoming SDE interns. I applied for the SDE position around a month ago or so, and I applied with no referral, I just went to Amazon, hit submit, and hope for the best. Two to three weeks after applying, I got the initial email for part one of the assessment. In the email, it detailed exactly what part one would be, which was a 20 minute assessment with seven questions and the choice of programming in Java, C, and I believe C++. The actual part one itself was very quick again, only 20 minutes for seven questions. And the actual task was to go ahead and look through a code sample uh, that was roughly, I wanna say 30 lines long or so. And somewhere in that code sample, there is one error. It could be an equality operator needs to be flipped. It could be they were referencing the wrong array or using an incorrect index position. And you have to find that error and resolve it uh, in, again, a very, very short amount of time. I personally found this to be the trickiest part of the entire assessment process just because you're not supposed to be modifying any of their code. You have to look at an existing semi-working code base and kind of build a solution from there. So quick tips, which I would suggest after doing that. One is do not spend more than one minute per question the first time you're looking at it. I wanna say I got through maybe five questions successfully and the other questions I straight up just did not have time to even look at. Second thing is it don't overthink what the issue might be. A lot of the times it was literally, like I said earlier, an equality operator or an array index that was incorrect, but the majority of the code was actually working. So I didn't really have to spend too much time trying to figure out what the existing code did. Just had to look for logical errors somewhere in the third in the code base. And third, uh, I would say the best tip I have is practice looking at other solutions on leak code. It's fairly simple to just go and you know look at a simple solution, glance over it, have no idea what it does, and move on. That's personally how I've done all of my leak code problems. But I really think trying to understand other people's code is an undervalued skill. And the first stage of the Amazon assessment definitely tests that a lot. So again, I think I got maybe five out of seven or so on the first stage. Uh, after completing it, I texted my friend at Amazon and said, there's no way I'm moving on. But just 30 minutes after completion, I got the invitation for round two. For this part, there were two standard coding questions. One was a leak code easy, I would say. The other one was a medium. Um, and again, there's nothing which I can really say, which the internet can't tell you already about how to approach those. But this is what I would call kind of the standard part of the procedure. Personally, I got, I think, 29 out of 32 test cases on the first question and 10 out of 12 test cases on the second question. Again, didn't think I was going to pass that. Texted the same friend again saying this is the end of the line for me. And exactly 30 minutes after saying that, I got the invitation to round three. Now round three was the part which I felt was the most non-traditional and probably the hardest to prepare for. The third round of this interview is essentially simulating a day in the life of an Amazon SDE. And there's no strict coding section. Uh, it's not super technical. It actually judges a lot of judgment principles, which you would have as an engineer. Actual assessment itself is structured kind of like, I don't know how to describe this. It's like an inbox almost where you have you know emails, chats, and some internal documentation you can refer to. And as the assessment progresses, you get emails and notifications and you get invited into an impromptu meetings where you have to make pretty quick decisions about how you're gonna approach, you know, some sort of production launch or you know feature ad and stuff like that. So personally, the way which I prepared for this and which I recommend everyone else prepare for it as well is by reviewing Amazon's leadership principles. I think it emphasizes a lot of what Amazon really values and their employees. Uh, I saw a lot of reflection between those leadership principles and the kinds of questions which were asked in the online assessment. Uh, I was reading through those principles just before taking the exam 
And I think that's what helped me answer a lot of the questions very quickly. Now, before starting the assessment, I read online that timing has been a common issue in this. Personally, I didn't have a timing issue, mostly because I was in overthinking. I just kind of put down the answers, which I thought were the most appropriate, didn't think too hard about them and moved on. Um, and I ended up finishing the assessment in roughly an hour. So again, I would say you can slow down a little bit, uh, keep a good gauge on the time that you're getting messages. So each message that comes in has a certain timestamp. And I think the day finished for me at like 5.27 PM is like the timestamp of the last message. So you can kind of pace out the day according to the two hours you have in the exam. Um, but in terms of actually preparing for the questions themselves, the best way to do is just review Amazon's leadership principles. There was a few questions on like reading through like a Java code and providing peer feedback. So brush up, you know, basic Java code and unit tests if you don't, if you're not too familiar with that. Um, but other than that, again, not a super technical round, really just replicating what it's like to be in Amazon SDE for a day. Another cool thing which I found really interesting about this portion was the interactive video component. So I guess they had actual Amazon employees play actors in this sort of um, interactive script that kind of plays out over the day. So depending on the choices you make, you know, earlier in the day or the questions you choose to ask your various coworkers, uh, there's actually various pre-recorded samples of what they respond with which I thought was really interesting and made the whole interaction feel a lot more alive. Um, and in some way, I kind of think of them as my coworkers now. So hats off to you, Amazon. I actually thought that was a pretty cool challenge. Um, and again, I don't actually know if I passed or not yet. I think it takes a few days or maybe even weeks after the third stage to hear back, but that was a pretty interesting experience. Anyways, that's all I have regarding the Amazon online assessment. Again, all I've done so far is complete everything up till part three. I don't actually know anything about what the process looks like from here in terms of what the next interviews are. But if you guys have any other questions which I can answer about everything up till part three so far, I'd be more than happy to do so. Go ahead and drop those in the comments. And until next time, guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.